O at, 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 hear the word of the Lord. The devil wants to get us to a place of no intercession. He wants to get us to a place of personal seeking of daily bread. But the Lord's prayer, the principle of prayer that the master taught is thy kingdom come. O oh Lord, thy will be done on the earth. Before, give us this day our daily bread. And that is how the principle of God is. So intercession is one major tool that God has raised to use through men. And what is intercession? It simply means to stand in the gap. To stand in the gap to pray. To stand in the gap to pray. This is how the things of the kingdom operate. God is not about to do anything new. God does not live in time, in the realm of time. He lives in eternity. And in eternity, there is no time. In, in eternity, there is nothing like um, you are prepared. God does not prepare. Every word like prepare, will come, will be, and things like that. God only uses those words for us as men. There is nothing, there is no future with God. He has no future. Neither is there any past. Everything is just in the present. That's why God can bring information of the past as if it is now. He can bring information of the future as if it is now. He can bring information about now as if it is now. Because everything before God is just now. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's why sometimes angels can't fathom our level of unbelief. Because they could see this is I mean, it is really they could see. But you see, we are confined with time as human beings on the face of the earth. So we have to deal with Lord, hey, December, September, this and that. God does not deal with time like that. So everything that is his will, everything that is his plan, everything that he wants done is in him. You are the one that is looking for a husband. God is not looking for a husband for you. He just see there is a husband <laughs> for you in him. He's there. But because you are confined with time, you are human, you are in the flesh, and you are on the earth, you operate with time. That's why the Bible uses such words like haste. It is human beings that haste. Angels are not in any haste because they see, they know, they just see everything like this. It's plain. And there are times that things that God has provided, people have not taken. They wonder why. Because it's there. And at times people can't see it, let alone believe it. So when we understand the realm in which God operates, in Isaiah 55, where God says, your ways are not my ways, neither are my thoughts your thoughts. Say, as the heavens are higher, they have. So are my ways higher than your ways and your thoughts and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. That should set us to a place that we begin to seek the ways of the Lord. The way things are before his presence. The way things are before him. So that we key into that. And once a while God grants us that you just see a glimpse of what God has prepared for you. And when you have that understanding, it is to bring you to a place that you embrace it. You believe it. You take it and let it be a reality. Amen. I'll come your way tomorrow again. And don't forget, read your Bible to know God more.